open up the People magazine about your struggles with fertility. I know how that is because I had the same thing. Oh, okay. Yes, and what made you want to share your story? And uh, aren't you a happy mom now today? Isn't it a great, yes. great outcome? Um, honestly, it was it was really interesting because when I had my son, Aww. I... Oh, oh, such yeah. a beautiful photo. Yeah. When I had my son, um, it was weird because I would see these articles published about how perfect my life was and how beautiful my son was and how great it looked and da 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 And I felt really sad inside because I had struggled for a very long time with endometriosis and PCOS okay. since my 20s. And I was undiagnosed for a very long time, so I had several miscarriages, mm -hmm. this huge battle that nobody knew about. I was embarrassed. I felt like there was something wrong with me. Uh -huh. And then when, when I would see this picture perfect thing out in the media, I felt like it was a disservice to other women because it wasn't yeah. real. Right. And like everybody's living these very Instagram perfect lives mm -hmm. where everything is curated and mm -hmm. filtered. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I don't want to be that exactly. for women. I want women to know that I'm there and they're not alone. Oh, we applaud that. that. <laughs> it's terrifying to be mm -hmm. honest, yeah. to be really mm -hmm. real and to be really honest. But if you're not, then nobody else can learn from it. And so many women have Absolutely. come forward and been That's so grateful. Right. That is awesome. awesome. Again, Thank we applaud you for that.